Welcome to episode 20 of the Awkward Tapes, the podcast where awkward friends talk about awkward things. Presley? So we do. What's on your mind today, man? Here's what's on my mind. Um, so I, I had this thought presented to me this past week, and I don't know how to feel about it. I'm already scared. So if you don't know what to think about it, there's no telling what we we're going to think about it. In trouble. I know. Um, so poison. Poison. Rat okay. poison. Has an expiration date. So does it? Does rat poison, when it passes the expiration date, become more poisonous or less poisonous? Oh my gosh. I, think it I would loses. say less. Yeah, I was going to say, I think it loses. It's, oh, yes, are you sure? Because, oh, yeah. That's the word. Yeah. Oh, or see. or does it get too poisonous to where it's like toxic even just to be around it? That's what I'm wondering. That's also, yeah, that could be possible. So you need to get rid of it because it's too, it's too much. My initial, expire. Yeah, my initial thought was, yeah. well, if it's expiring. It just uh, becomes less effective. Yeah, because whatever, it, when it expires, it becomes less of what it should be. So that would make sense. But also, I get what you're saying, too. That would make sense, But too. I also didn't know poison had an expiration date until, like, yeah. two days ago. So That's weird. That's weird. It is weird. What would you think? What do you think? Yeah. I think it would depend on the poison. <laughs> okay. Wait, There's so what poison would get more toxic? Which one would get less so I toxic? I feel like just generic rat poison would probably become less less poisonous just because I think a lot of that stuff is probably made cheaply and in bulk obviously mm. yeah. but more specific poisons like I don't know pesticide or how, how do you make poison I don't know What's, does anyone know the process I, I, of no, poison I've never well, made well even poison. if we do I don't know if we should be telling everyone oh, but you know so first you want to get some them. baking let's, soda <laughs> let's just ask McDonald's honestly oh see my what they God. Think. Oh, yeah it's called pink goo well, they're not ever going to sponsor us now I do. <laughs> I don't want a sponsorship from them. I do have a. I have another thought that I wanted to bring up. So, ninjas. Do yeah. they not exist anymore because they're not around, or have they just gotten so good to where they hide so well we don't oh, see them? Wow. You know, a joke I heard about that was like, does every country have ninjas, and only like Japan sucks because Japan is known for having ninjas or whatever. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, Whoa. do we only know about Japan's ninjas because they're so bad at being ninjas, yeah. or are they the only country that has them? That's true. And also, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, they suck. They have a freaking <laughs> TV show and movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they've done terrible. The worst of yeah, all awful. time. Oh, yeah. yeah. How dare they? Even the live action movies. Those are scary. Those don't count. Are we talking about the ones from the eighties though? Do y'all remember the ones that? From the Those 80s are weird. Fine. I, I don't remember. Any I think of them. they look weird. Just because from the eighties they don't have great. They can. Yeah. What's the name of the rat again? Splinter. Ratatouille. It's Master Splinter. Splinter. Splinter is like the hardest to get live action to look good, it's because a he's a rat. How do you make that look good? <laughs> like that's just like it's perfect for comics because you can just you know make him look good. I don't remember what he looks like. Did he look uh, bad? Well, he looked like a rat. He, it just, it's, it's <laughs> kind of off-putting. Yeah. Because you're watching a rat, and it's kind of like for kids. True. Okay. It's very weird. All right. Well, that helps us get our <laughs> mind turning and, and thinking. Get it turning. Thank you guys for joining us. Thank you guys for coming back. This is episode 20 of the Awkward Tapes, and without further ado, prepare yourself for a session of awkwardness. All right, Zach, you look a lot taller and a little different. Hey, <laughs> hey! And you're not bald anymore, right? No, Let I grew me... my hair back. Yeah. Oh wow! Yeah. And he no. got married and became a dad. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> no, Zach wasn't being uh, able to be here today. He's on vacation, so we got Chris filling in for him. Oh yeah. Um, How dare he? Our or, favorite tall boy. You know, or, or we kick Zach off and he just doesn't know it yet. Ooh, voice crack. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I'm going through puberty yet. right now. Again? Yeah, Again? it's really tough. Imagine My second d- stage. Imagine how deep oh, yeah. his voice is going to be now. Oh, now. that'd be perfect for a podcast. The awkward Whoa. tapes. Anyway, yeah. speaking of. Um, have hat. y'all? What? Go ahead. I was going to ask him, how's it been? Um, uh, get a little life update. How's it, oh, how is it being a daddy of? It's cool. He's screaming now because uh, his vocal cords are developing. Yeah, I was going to ask. Mm-hmm. He's been crying a lot lately. Has he stopped yeah. that or no? Uh, kind of. Yeah. Kind of. He just cries or sleeps. That's all he does. Yeah. Uh, Shmev, uh, can I, cool. did you just ask if a baby stops crying? 
<laughs> well, it's because Generally, he just... He, it depends he, on the he, stage. Yeah. I mean, he wasn't, and then out of nowhere he was, so I was wondering if it slowed down at all. Like all. He's, he's I got a already question. a month old. Yeah. Like, it doesn't even feel like he's been here for a month. No, it doesn't. Does he wake you up in the middle of the night to Honestly, cry? Honestly, no. He sleeps through the night pretty well. At least, the day. At least okay. you don't have that. Yeah. That's good. That yeah. is. I was a terrible baby. I never slept. Oh, I and I was a good baby. I was a he heathen. always slept. I always slept. That was terrible. Wasn't he? Weren't you like wild though? Uh, he still is. I like. Yeah, yeah. he was, he was always, just happy but, go lucky. Yeah, like, yeah. Ear infections. Yeah. To the point where like it was like gooping Goop out of your eyes, out of my eyes, and I would still be like, happy. And he was just like smiling. I it. know. He's, or his eyes like normal. I had to have my socks pulled all the way up, <laughs> oh. and then my pant legs. Pulled over it and all the way down, dude, to we, fall asleep. Which we is have, funny because I'm still like that. <laughs> we have these pictures that would be on this table, and yeah. we, it would be like I don't know, hundred pictures of us as kids, and like all of them, I'm smiling in. But there's like these two pictures or more <laughs> where Presley's just bawling his eyes out, and the story behind those pictures is like his pajamas weren't on right. Yeah. It would always be something like that. You're such like a baby. Trying to get are, are it you, off. <laughs> Are you one of those demons that like to sleep with their socks on? Yeah. Oh, and his, no. this man sleeps with jeans on. You uh, do too. I, I Clayton, not, rarely. Why? Not anymore. Just no, chafing. you do. Not as often. <laughs> it's painful. It still it's, happens. Look, it, it still happens. It's mostly like if I'm staying the night at like y'all's house or something. Like if I go over and I, it's like it's so much effort to pack extra clothes. I, I, and I can fall asleep in jeans, but it's so not. I just prefer that. Yeah, it is. It takes about 10 seconds. You open your drawer, grab a pair of shorts, <sighs> and throw it in a bag. That's too much. Because then I got to <laughs> keep up with it, and then I got to clean it after the fact. So that's more laundry. It's just easier that's to sleep in jeans That's an adult thought You need a maid. Right so he gets it. <laughs> anyway, have you all seen the thing on social media or Instagram or whatever where people explain movies like really bad? Yes. And it's just like it's like really funny. Oh, yeah, I think so. Um, they always kill me. But for example, so I'm gonna I'm gonna read y'all a movie explained just terribly, and y'all have to guess what it is, and then we'll discuss the movie. All right. Okay. So you can look at my laptop. I don't have the answers on here. I have the answers on my phone, so you won't be able to see them. But so all right, this first one: a drug addicted girl takes advantage of a mentally challenged boy for three decades. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's think about it. It's going to be a Pixar movie or Noah something. Noah laughs, so I, I feel like he might know what it is. Okay, can you repeat that? Um, a drug-addicted girl takes advantage of a mentally challenged boy for three decades. Is this a live-action movie? Yes, it is. Deadpool? No. <laughs> no. Are we talking possession, maybe? Possession. Like a horror? No. <laughs> Y'all are going to beat yourselves up. Okay, okay. Is it okay, is it happy? Is it like a comedy? But yeah, what genre? What yeah, give us a genre too. That's really hard because there's so much in this movie. So much. It, I have no idea. It's funny, but it's also like not. It's hard to explain. <laughs> Are they the okay. two main characters? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I have no idea. Yeah, th- this is my twenty questions. Um, <laughs> huh. Is it blue? So it's a boy and a girl. One of the actors is I would say top five, like, more famous actors right now. So and, this is a has, popular and film. And has been for a while. Oh, yeah. Okay. Keep this is mind, a huge film. I haven't seen a lot of movies. Wait, wait, wait. You've seen this Wait. One. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, I think I know this one. Describe okay. it one more time. A drug-addicted girl takes advantage of a mentally challenged boy for three decades. I have it. What? Forrest Gump. It's Forrest Gump. Oh, my Let's go. gosh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you've seen Forrest Gump, right? Yeah. yeah. No, like that's that true. Movie. Do you like that movie? I do. Oh, I love that movie. No, it's a fantastic movie. Jenny, we hate you. <laughs> Jenny is the worst. Does anyone out there like Jenny? She I haven't know. seen it in a while, though. So oh, yeah, I can't really say. It has been a while since I've watched it. I, I want to watch it now. Man, Je- but Jenny's just... Man, if you go well, back and watch Jenny's well, the whole just the film, worst. It's yeah. almost like she, she... Yeah, I mean, it's what it said in this. Yeah. Takes advantage. She acts like she likes Forrest, but like... She Not really. really. She's kind of using them. Maybe she doesn't know that, but yeah. Maybe she she's the mentally challenged one. She's got a lot of problems. Psycho. She does. 
I mean, she's the the main it one. Well. Like mm. drug addicted, yeah. Controls mentally challenged. Wow. Chris, have, Chris, have you seen it? It's been a while. Okay, since I've you seen had it. Channel. No, have you you've seen this movie, right? Okay, yeah, good. No. I'd no, for, probably cry if yeah. you hadn't. Noah, did you know that one at all, or were you just like not? You didn't know. Okay, <laughs> feel free to chime in if you feel like you know oh, any of these. Man. Let's go to this this next one. Right. I'm proud of myself. I'm I, yeah, I got good the job. First. Okay, that's good. Okay, all right. A guy that's alone in the forest kisses a dead body while seven oh, other yeah. guys watch. Yeah, I know this one yeah. off the top oh, of my head immediately. Easy. Yeah. This is Disney, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Snow White. Yeah, it's yep. Snow White. Snow White. Yep. Yeah. I can actually tell you the story of Snow White. Ooh. It's been a long time since I've seen it, too. I really so, can't I mean, she, tell you. she eats the apple that's like, the. What, is it a witch? Here, yeah. Here, let, let Leighton Schmev explain. Yeah. I don't know it though. No, he says he hasn't. Oh, seen it I thought you said yeah, that you saying, ha- oh, all I, I thought know. you said that you could tell the story of Snow oh, White. No, no, I oh, couldn't. Okay. All I know about Snow White is that she can talk to like animals and stuff. And she's oh, got yeah. seven dwarves. Hmm. All dwarves, uh, not drawers. Yeah, and they're all named after adjectives. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they're all named after adjectives. Happy. Sleepy. Yeah, I think happy. Because yeah. he's actually sleepy. Oh. Yeah. And Good happy job. is actually happy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Probably. I, I mean, that's a princess movie, so was, I mean, probably none of us really I, like princess I know the, movies. No, but. I know the story. I just haven't seen the movie in a long time. I mean, it's a yeah, classic no. Disney movie, but it's not one that I'd like because it's princess stuff. But. Yeah. It, if anyone could add an eighth dwarf, what drawer? What drawer? Yeah, what <laughs> drawer? What dwarf would you include? Ooh. You could add just one more. Is Hungry one? I don't think Hungry's I don't think one. So. I, I would, I would be, be Hungry. That'd be Layton. I'd be Hungry. Yeah. No, that stinky. would be Layton. Is there a Stinky? No. No. Okay. no. Stinky. Layton would be cheesy. Cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> just snack on cheese all day. Yeah. Baldy. Baldy. Just have a, <laughs> yeah. Like Zach is a dwarf. Exactly. Chris, if you could add one, what would you add? Uh, Tolly. Yeah, Tolly. 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 Lengthy. 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 Just you forgot to do the adjective route, so you're just like giraffe. A giraffe. What is that word? Lanky. 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 There you go. Lanky. I thought you were oh. okay. Lanky. Y'all want right. y'all want another one? Yeah. 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 This one might be a little tough. A family's first Airbnb experience goes completely wrong. Home alone? No. No. Do you? No, it was okay. No, it was laughing. Um, Family's first Airbnb experience. I don't goes know. If Why do I have a feeling that this is like a '90s or early 2000s movie? I think it, like it. I think it's earlier than that. Oh, early. Oh, so like '80s even. Maybe. I'm thinking like, is it like a National Lampoon something? Mm-mm. No. Okay. Mm. I didn't I know, know if it was something like that. One. Yeah. I don't know. I th- I think I think Evan. I think we've actually talked about this movie. Maybe. I don't. I bet okay. the Parkers haven't seen it. I bet you guys haven't seen Texas it. Texas Chainsaw Massacre? No. <laughs> There's a lot well, of that that movies. did go wrong. <laughs> mm-hmm. That yeah. that did not go according to plan for them. Yeah. It's this is a classic like movie. All right, it's a classic movie here. Yeah. So give the description one more time, please. A family's first Airbnb experience goes completely wrong. The Godfather. Uh, no. Oh wait, is it? <laughs> I mean, I don't know if you would describe it like this, but is it like The Shining? It is The Shining. Hey, oh, man, oh. I'm good at this. Have you I seen The Shining? No, I have not seen that. No, nope. Shi- The Shining's a, a good time. movie. Actually. It is a good movie. It, it's, it's a really good movie. It's weird. It's Stephen King, so it's, you got to know what you're getting into. It's very bizarre, and yeah. for me, it does move a bit slow, but it is a good horror mm-hmm. movie. Well, I, I, mean, I, I think he did a good Stephen job. King movies are bizarre, but that's because yeah. Stephen King is. Yeah, Stephen, Stephen, Stephen King is, you know, he, he had that section in the book, It, that luckily the movie did not include, so, you know. If you watch that movie, you'll understand why Jack Nicholson played Joker. Oh, yeah. Yep. He's insane. He is. I think y'all would, y'all would like that. It's not really a horror movie, it's just, uh, explain what it is, I mean. I honestly find right. it funny. So really? Yeah. The sh- well, depending on who you ask, like the acting, because the acting is very over the top. Oh, yeah. So if you like over the top acting, you can get into it, then it works super well. If you're not really a fan of that, then you tend to find it cheesy and mm-hmm. not super scary. But it's this uh, family, uh, Jack Nicholson, he goes, uh, they're like in a big mansion in Colorado somewhere, and it needs to be looked after in the winter for, I don't know, some reason. Uh, but he goes there and he's a writer so he goes with his wife and his son and they go to this big mansion or whatever or this big hotel resort. I forget what it is the Stanley Hotel 
Yeah. yeah. And he goes there and he learns before he goes there that there was this massacre to where the last uh, like housekeeper, hotel keeper, whatever, he went crazy and he ended up killing his family uh, and then killing himself, you know, real fun stuff. <laughs> but over time, as uh, the family starts to be there at this hotel, he starts to get crazier and crazier. And just a lot of bizarre stuff starts to happen. But a lot of the story revolves around his son, Danny. And he has what's called The Shining, to where basically he can, like, talk to other people mm -hmm. uh, with his mind. And, like, he has this friend that gives him stuff from his mind and whatnot. Like, he can kind of hear supernatural stuff. Again, that's where you can see Stephen King coming in. Mm. Yeah. Uh, but no, it's a uh, it's not a bad movie at all. It's mm. pretty good. Again, you kind of have to be able to get into the over the top acting because the acting <laughs> is over the top. But if you can look past that, it it's a pretty good movie. Well, there. So I mean, this could just be like rumors thrown out there. But I've seen it so much, I don't think it is. But um, the Jack Nicholson's wife, not real wife, the one in the movie. Yeah, Shelley Duvall. I yeah. believe is her name. So the scene. Um, have you you might have seen like memes and stuff about it like oh, here's yeah. Johnny here's yeah Johnny. Yes. yeah that yeah. scene was she like when do you remember like she was like craw like curled up in a ball in the in the bathroom mm -hmm. whatever she looked just terrified that was true fear because apparently Jack really? Nicholson he was playing he was taking his role so serious he would act like that man like when they weren't filming like when they were just on set and so he started making her feel like so uncomfortable. It started making her mental health like awful. Oh, they're like she would go home from from filming apparently, and just she would just be like messed up. There was a bunch of wow. controversy around the filming of uh, The Shining because mm -hmm. Stanley Kubrick he treated like the kids and everyone else well, but there was a lot of uh, uh, again I'll just say controversy about how he treated Shelley Duvall, the woman who played Jack Nicholson's yeah. wife, because mm -hmm. he treated her. Mm -hmm. At least, like, rumors are he treated her terribly, like, she just was not given the same amount of, like, uh, respect or, like, the same fairness or whatever compared to everybody else on cast. Yeah. There's a very famous scene to where uh, Jack Nicholson is slowly walking up the stairs, you know, giving his monologue or whatever, and Shelley Duvall is, like, slowly backing up and she's swinging a bat. Uh, she had, uh, I believe that is the scene that has been like shot the most in cinema history to where she had to do like over a hundred takes I've of that, that same yeah. scene. Really? Oh yeah. Stanley mm -hmm. Kubrick, he was famous like that. He'd be like, oh, he was the stereotypical, well not stereotypical, but he was known for just as soon uh, as we start recording, like we're gonna do as many shots as we need to get this right. Yeah. And Noah, do you have something you want to chime in on? I was just gonna ask you guys if you've seen like the sequel to that movie. No. no. I've uh, heard I, about I, it. Uh, yeah, where it's like cool. the kid grows up and yeah. he's an adult. Yeah. yeah. Uh, is that what McGregor plays in it? Really? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to see it now. Uh, have you seen it? Mm -hmm. Is it good? It was pretty cool. I liked it. Yeah. It was and pretty cool. All right. I don't know. It kind of like I the, may have to, to segue off of that. They had the same kind of experience with the Heath Ledger when filming The Dark Knight. He apparently would yeah. get so immersed in the yes. Joker character that it's he would freak everybody out. Isn't that almost a thing with almost everyone who plays Joker? Yeah. Because yep. I know Heath Ledger, yeah. Jack Nicholson, obviously uh, Jared Leto. Like, mm -hmm. wasn't there the story to where he sent Margot Robbie like a package and it had like a dead bird or it yeah. had like something weird something or freaky weird. in it? I did yeah. not know that. Yeah, he he did. He was trying to act like the Joker off offset because it's the whole like uh, what is that called like. Char it's not just character acting. It's uh, I forget the name for it, but it's basically to where they try to act as the character in their everyday life. I know Johnny mm -hmm. Depp has done it before. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, Joaquin absolutely. Phoenix. He, I mean, I don't think he had oh, yeah. anything, but well, like you saw the weight oh, he, he lost was, for that. Oh my movie. Yeah. He was already a little yeah, crazy. Already a little <laughs> yeah. Crazy so that, that's why it was perfect. So yeah. When I first saw like the trailers for that new Joker movie, I didn't even know it was him, because like. I didn't really know of him until that. Oh, yeah. I did. So there was, I had no idea who Joaquin Phoenix was. Oh, I did. He, he's he been in... He, he took, like, a long break from acting for a while, which is probably why you never heard of him. But when I was growing up, I was like a, I was a big Johnny Cash fan. Oh, that movie was good. Uh, yeah, and so there was a movie called Walk the Line, which was about Johnny Cash, and Joaquin played Johnny Cash. And so when I was younger, I watched that movie nonstop. So I, I know who he is very well. But I had no clue that's who it was until, like, I saw talk shows, and it was him. I was like, what? 
Yeah, yeah was, he's a really good actor. Yeah. He really is. And he won an award for that movie, which he should have. Yeah. Did um, y'all um did y'all hear about Heath Ledger? Like some of the stuff he would try to do to get immersed into it. Didn't like he isolate himself for yeah. a long period of time prior. Yeah, I heard that he isolated himself for like about a month, and he tried to like keep insane journals about stuff and just tried to get like as little human interaction as he could during that period of time and i heard that like he he died before he even got to see the yeah. film yeah. yeah so like oh. all of his work that he put in he never got to see it it was literally right after they stopped filming yeah, it was, yeah. yeah. almost Sadly, immediately after crazy that character made him yeah. Well, see, I've heard yeah. I've heard both ways. Some people say it was because of the character, and some say it isn't. But I didn't know that that he died like right after the movie. Yeah. That makes me think it was because of the character. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Wow. So this next one, a young girl with mental illness talks to furniture and marries Bigfoot. No. Oh. Another Disney one. Beauty and the Beast. It is Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> yeah, say. Wait, say the, say the description. I like again. the description though. <laughs> a young girl with mental illness talks to furniture and marries Bigfoot. <laughs> I love that meta that every Disney princess has a mental illness. Yeah, uh, I know for real. Then there's a dying rose. Mm -hmm. I never, I never watched that one much. But they did just didn't they come out with a live action Beauty there and is, the Beast? There is. Yeah, is it yeah. Uh, yes. Emma Watson? Emma Watson. Oh, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, she was in it. I heard that that one's not. I've actually heard mixed reviews about that one. Some yeah. people said that they really liked it. Other people have been like, nah, well, just watch the original. Didn't watch it. I think people had it too high of a standard in their head yeah. that when they went to see Apparently. it, maybe they were expecting a lot more than they actually saw. Yeah. Just going cool. into... I've, I've learned recently, going into movies with expectations usually yeah. ruins it. You just need yeah. to go with a blind mind. Yeah, I watched it. I, I don't remember much about it, but it was all right. I, I want to say I don't think I've ever seen the original. Wow. Oh, I, don't, I don't think I've seen like, that. I'm just not into princess think, movies. No. But when you guys grew up, it was just you two, right? Yeah, like, you have, don't have some secret yeah. sister that I don't know about, right? Yeah, like, no, I didn't start watching no. Disney movies until my sister was around. No, I was so. going to say, wow. the only reason why I've seen Beauty and the Beast and whatnot is because I watched it with my older sister. Yeah. I actually haven't seen any of the newer, like, live-action Disney movies, like Lion King or anything. I saw the Lion King one. I didn't that see one that one. Pretty Why? good. I just felt like it's I was good. watching the exact same movie. Yeah. The <laughs> live-action. a lot. Yeah, weirder. Weren't there a lot of big time people that voiced roles? Like, didn't yeah, Seth yeah, Rogen uh, voice something? Keegan Michael Key, Childish Gambino. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, wasn't Rogen. Beyonce one of them? Yeah, I know. So. I know she was a huge name. Beyonce That's a, was, was it Nala. She, Nala? Yeah. yeah, I think so. Those are big names, and so I think yeah. when people started seeing that, they're like, "Oh, this is going to be good." But then, yeah, I've heard the same thing you said, where it's just like it's the same thing. It's just well, a live action. That's thing. kind of the goal, though. I thought yeah. that's what they wanted. Yeah, like, yeah. I went into it thinking. I'm going to watch the same movie as the original. It's just going to be live action. Mm -hmm. So I was just kind of like, I already know what's going to happen. But it's not but live it's action, cool. though. It's all CGI. It's all CGI. Well, yeah. But it's just made I mean. to look like it's real. Something yeah. I saw it's one time, weird. and I might be like getting the words confused, but one of Walt Disney's goals was he wanted to make every Disney movie um, a good experience for each generation. And so that's why they started making these live yeah. action movies is because trying to like make that movie just different and evolve in a way that connects with a new generation. Or because their new movies suck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Most, I mean, it depends not all on who you ask. That's a little, yeah. Not all. Not all of them. They just came, Pixar just came out with a new movie. I haven't seen it. Uh, but, what year? Uh, Buzz Lightyear movie. Did that just that's come out? out? I don't think uh, it's out yet. It comes out this summer for sure. No, there's a new one. There's like, I don't Big even know. Big Red? Yeah, Big Red. I saw that movie. Is it good? Not a good movie at all. Okay. Oh, no? Really? Oh, uh, not it, a good movie. Is that the one with Clifford? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. Dude, that well. should have been one of your descriptions about okay. Clifford. You're like, yeah. huge dog terrorizes city or whatever. <laughs> Let me tell you what the movie is about without giving away too much. Big you can pretty much figure this out probably in the trailer, but... It's basically about this girl who turns into a big red panda, basically, and doesn't really know why, but later finds out that it's in her entire family. They all turn into this big panda, and she has to figure out how to control it, and then they have to do this weird ceremony to make the curse go away and wear this little thing around them that keeps the being, that panda, inside of them. What? And they throw in all kinds of weird turning red, turning red things. Red. There's lots of um, 
controversy about some of the things that they try to put in the movie that aren't necessarily like family oh, friendly or <laughs> would want your kids to watch kind of thing. So there's some like oh, that well, almost. Oh, Disney, sorry. Disney can't like have any controversy about that. There are so many adult jokes in Disney movies. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. true. Yeah. 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 No, that's why it's kind of funny. You know, they put those in there for the parents oh, that absolutely. had to watch it. Oh, a hundred percent. They know what they're doing. Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh yeah, because all the five year olds laugh because they're like, "Oh, we think it's goofy or whatever," but it goes right over their head. Oh, if yeah. you go back and watch yeah. SpongeBob, it's the same thing. There are a lot of adult jokes in SpongeBob. Like, oh, if you go back and watch so it, I was many. never allowed to watch it. <laughs> no. I was just gonna say, I feel like Pixar has just been releasing a lot more movies than like when we were younger, yeah. mm-hmm. and they've just deteriorated. They're, they're not as good. Oh as yeah, these right. Movies. They're they're trying to do one every year, I think, and so I think that's kind of taken the creative and quality. Out of it. I'd rather uh-huh. have the quality and have right. more space. To True, have. but it used to be that's not too much crazier. Like, because it used to be more so every other year, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, because so. you had like Toy Story, then Bugs Life, then Toy Story Two, and moved mm-hmm. on from there. You know, it's yeah. freaky. Toy Story Three came out in 2010, June 18th, 2010. Twelve years ago now. What? That's weird. Wow. Yeah. Twelve years ago. I actually know the exact date it came out. I remember when that came out. It's crazy. Is the, I've seen the first three Toy Stories. I know there's a fourth. Is the fourth one any good? I like it. Yes. Yeah, it I like I, it. I haven't seen it. No it, agrees? Okay. Yeah. yeah. The third was just... It was weird to me because I grew up on the first and second one. I, I, I like watched the first two are cla- The first two are amazing. Are I love so the first good. two. The third was a bit of a departure from yeah. the first two in terms of what it... I consisted really of. Liked the third one. Really? I, I still oh, liked I it. It was just different. I mean, and I, I don't think I've seen the fourth one. Third one was definitely more emotional. Yeah. The, I was like, what? A is lot this? of people either you're either gonna like the ending or hate the ending of the fourth Toy Story, depending yeah. on what you think about it. Are I kinda they making a it. fifth? I bet they oh, will. Gosh. I guarantee you oh, no. they will. Because dude, like... every every Toy Story, it just kills the box office. Yeah. It does it's, great. Same thing with it's because of the name. Like the first Cars was legendary. Dude, Can't Cars be. 2, though? I, oh, uh, man. I, Don't I, even get okay, me should started. I, should I expose myself and have you guys hate me? You haven't seen yes. it? I've never once seen Cars 2. That's okay. Yeah. Actually, I, I've only seen the first Cars. I lo- okay. I've seen the first Cars multiple, multiple times. Love the movie. Never seen the sequels. Actually, they're saying Toy Story 5 comes in maybe 2023. Oh, Is that real, though? Or is that those toys going to be in trouble? I don't know. Well... Yeah, Lightyear's coming out though soon. Yeah, that should yeah. be soon. good. The I fourth, actually do want to see that. The fourth Toy Story movie, I honestly expected not to like because I was like, they they should be done now. But I was very yeah. surprised, and it was it was good. I liked it. All right, good here. Do, do you have Ooh. any more movies for us oh, to guess? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, let's get into. Oh, oh, I haven't yeah. been half bad at this so far. I'm excited. So, <laughs> a mentally unstable billionaire. They're all myths. Works to prevent citywide harassment from a clown. Oh, easy. Oh, easy. Yeah, that should be easy. Batman. Very easy. Which one? Dark Knight. Yeah, good job. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, oh. e- yeah exactly. Yeah. Dark you want me to say that again? Yeah. A mentally unstable billionaire works to prevent citywide harassment from a clown. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's, yeah. yeah. I think that's yeah. the first one I got. <laughs> <laughs> Which I is one of my top five favorite movies ever. The dark, I think yeah, it's easily one? the best superhero movie ever made. Yeah. I don't think it's even close to other stuff. Yeah. Personally. I, yeah. It's right oh, up no. there, oh, Chris. What it's What close. are you saying? The best one is he's a uh, he's a Marvel guy. Give, give me a top five, a top five right now, or uh, just what competes? Just what competes with the Dark Knight? To in your eyes, just what com, what's in the realm of that? No way home. Absolutely not. I actually disagree. What the crap? Uh, I actually think that are No Way okay? Home is outside of my top ten. I'll put it in my top fifteen. Are you okay? I am okay, but I just. The grand scheme of hero movies. I hate origin oh. stories. I really do. Wait, Holy Home's not an origin story. But it just, it's a brand new Spider-Man. You know what, what I mean? Like, I hate the first Spider-Man of every Spider-Man that they have. Wait, no, 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 no. That's not the same movie. Oh, no, what? Oh, hold Ooh. on. That's the one with Toby and Andrew. Oh, that's right. It's the most recent Spider-Man. Yeah, my yeah. Bad. Okay. that's got to be in All your right, top That something. one's in my top ten. Okay. <laughs> that one's go. I was going to say. <laughs> no, I, was good. I was about to cry. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> top five, probably Iron Man, Iron Man 1, Iron Man 3. 3? Yeah, actually. Really? I enjoyed 3. Uh, I liked it. Avengers. All four of them. All four of the Avengers. And my, uh, so four Marvel and one Batman. You're different. 
They're different. Actually, no. DC is lost on me. Dark Knight's not even in there? It is in my top ten favorite movies. Wow. But it's not in my top five or three. Thanks for being on the podcast, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> no, Never uh, again. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Man, I'm, I'm, like, well, I, I'm used to the animated versions of Batman, like the shows and like the yeah. movies that they came out with. So like the more funny or goofy Batman. Not, no, too. actually the more oh. serious ones. The oh. more serious ones that I enjoy, the like the darker ones and just the more like gory and violent ones. Those are the ones I actually enjoy a lot. Oh. And I just feel like they will never make anything live action like that. And it, I just it's just kind of I just think that's like the perfect superhero movie. I have got to say something. <laughs> they have to make a Batman Beyond Movie I think they live are. action now. Are no. they actually? Uh, no, they've talked about it. I don't think they're Batman they're not Beyond the is one of the coolest Batmans mm-hmm. ever. Yep. I think they will. I so, bet you they will. Like if so you seen, underrated. Oh, so underrated. If you've seen like the TV show, oh, yep. oh, that's it the is one, good. That's the one where Bruce Wayne is old and he has to mentor this new guy. This new the guy, new. Right? Terry yeah. McGinnis, who yeah. stumbles upon the Batcave. And uses it to, I think, take revenge on someone who wronged yeah. him. Maybe even killed his parents. Kind of similar to the original Batman story. Yeah. DC is just in like a place of power right now. The Batman movie was awesome. Yeah, yes. It was really good. They just need to not mess it up. Well, that wasn't really DC though, was it? No. It Warner, Warner Brothers. Brothers. It was Warner Brothers. Nothing They're that, slapping. Oh, that's why it was good. Yeah. yeah. That's They're why good. it was yeah. good. DCEU is kind of in shambles, which I think... They're going to try and fix it with that whole Flashpoint movie that's it's coming out. It's what? not, but that's what they're going to try to do. They're going to try. Which, by the way, the Batman's on HBO Max now. And I it just is. watched it again recently. It is. Yeah. Again? For, for the third, third time? time? I love it. like it? I, I like oh, it yeah. more every time I really? watch it because I'm finding things that I missed out on. Mm-hmm. It's because it's three hours long and it's impossible it, to take yeah. it all in. Like I am so, so, I'm so excited long. for the next one they come out with. Yeah. In the movie theater, it didn't feel like it was three hours long, honestly. The first time, no, no, it did go fast. It did for me. I had to pee one hour in, and I had (laughs) two to go. (laughs) I didn't go. The rest of the next one? Held it for two hours. Yes. So, a depressed, widowed father teams up with a mentally challenged woman to find his disabled son. I got distracted by the mental challenge. Wait, wait, wait. Can you say say that one more time? A depressed, widowed father teams up with a mentally challenged woman oh, to I find it. his disabled son. I got it immediately. Hold on, let me let, let's let them Okay. I, I have it though. How? how I have yeah, it. How? You'll have you'll it. be slapping yourself if I you have get it. this right. Well I think let me I think I have it. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I have a guess. I'll let you guys go first. Say it okay. one more time. Okay. That's a lot to follow. For the people in the back. A depressed widowed father teams up with a mentally challenged woman to find his disabled son. Yeah, Can, go ahead. My hint is it's one of my favorite movies of all time, if I know this correctly. Hmm. Uh, that makes me even more confused. Yeah, no. Yeah. I don't know what genre this might would be. Is it animated? Oh, yes. It's animated. Yeah, no, I, I know 100% what it is now then, yeah. Is it Disney? Yes. Noah, do you know it? It's Disney? Yeah, okay. I'll... Mentally challenged father. No, 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 no. Sorry. A depressed oh, widowed father. Excuse, excuse me. me. A depressed, depressed father. Teams widowed up with a mentally challenged father. woman. To find his I got it. Yeah. Do you son. do you have it now? I got did it. Did you did you figure it yeah, out? I got it. Me Go and Chris are lost. Dude, I am lost. Go ahead. I, you can Slayton's just say least it. favorite movie, Nemo. Yes. What, it, this is your least favorite? It's not my least favorite. It is <laughs> as a child the scariest movie of all time. Oh, because he doesn't like sharks. <laughs> that literally, I'm not even joking, was yeah. one of the most terrifying movies ever. Ever for me, I <laughs> and I'm love, not even joking. I love Finding Nemo. Finding Nemo is easily one of my favorite movies ever. It, as soon as you said it, I'm like, oh, I grew up on this movie. I love this movie. I watched like, it. If many it was, times. if it was any, if there was just one like animated Disney or Pixar movie that I grew up on, it was Finding Nemo. I would try like every couple of years, like watch it again, or I, I watched it all the time to try to get over my fear of sharks. <laughs> Never worked. You don't it, even okay. now. It killed me. No, now I can deal I with it. But it gives me the what creeps. Animated movie or just movie in general when you were younger just absolutely scared the crap out of you. Uh, none. My Coraline. <gasps> I won't say mine. I won't say mine until y'all say yours. I never saw Coraline. I got another one. I saw the trailer for it and it terrified me. What? Okay. What is it, Layton? Okay, Cruella in the Hundred and One Dalmatians. 
Oh, I'm not even that. joking. She would give me nightmares. Yeah. Okay. Or keep me up at night. Because okay. I, I think that, that she's in the room with me or something <laughs> and is going to kill me. I was, like, seriously terrified of that one. You're absolutely going to make fun of me for mine. Uh-oh. Do it. What? Lilo and Stitch. <laughs> Lilo and Stitch? Dude, Stitch, Stitch was, was an abomination and scared <laughs> me to death. Who That's is fair. that? It's fair. Who is Stitch? Are you okay, man? No, <laughs> we never saw it. Layton is ruining my childhood. What in the world? He's the little blue guy with the claws and the teeth. Oh, the that movie. Girl. I always thought it was so weird I didn't watch that. Dude, yeah, Stitch? I never saw it. I'm never hurting. That. I'm hurting so I've seen bad. I of it, and I'm sure it was on in the background. Now, Nemo, I loved sharks growing up. Her. I wanted to be a shark. I wanted to <laughs> swim with the sharks. Well, I mean... When well, he was chasing Nemo's dad and Dory, I was so happy. Well, I guess it's not Dachshund, because it's not your gamer tag anymore, but what was your gamer tag for the longest time? Captain Shark. Captain Shark. Yes, Why'd you so, get rid of that? I still like it. Because I had that gamer tag for like 10 years. So? I was like, you know what? I'll change it. It's just a different shark. <laughs> um... I was going to say, I watched so much Batman growing up that I would have nightmares about the Joker. Hmm. That's so, I wasn't <laughs> oh, really... I, did or not. I, I was, don't think I did. I wasn't really scared of the Joker, but I did have nightmares about him. Yeah. That makes sense. Fair enough. You ready for this next one? What else you got? Oh, I'm, I'm so ready. Don't look, don't look at this one. It's so sad. I, yeah, I, I love this one. Okay. <laughs> All right. Kind of scared. A prodigy discovers that having hard wood in your hand can lead to all sorts of magic. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> I know. Okay, okay. Oh, I know it. I know I it. I think I know it. Say it again. I know it. <laughs> okay. I think I know A it. prodigy oh. discovers <laughs> that having hard wood in your hand can lead to all sorts of magic. Wow. <laughs> wow. Are we all thinking the yeah. same thing? Yeah. Are we? Yeah. Say it oh at my once. Gosh. One, three, two, three. <laughs> Harry, Harry Potter. Potter. Yeah. Okay. Oh <laughs> it's gosh. Harry Potter. <laughs> Why you know, you to just are you like kidding it like that? <laughs> because it's the only way you can. It's a no. family-friendly podcast, Mev. Yep. Hey, it is. Hey, hey. go right over <laughs> their fine. head. Yes. You, you, another way I saw this was explained was, uh, what, what, what was it? I think it was like, a man with no nose has an unhealthy obsession with a teenage boy or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> that that's okay, very Okay, that true. is amazing. Oh, yeah. man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which, by the way, freaking love those movies. Harry you do? Yeah. So you've seen those? Oh, I've seen all of them. Okay. Well, yeah, I love I like those. those movies. The, those, those are top ten for me. Th- this is my Star Wars. Never seen them. That's fine. Granted, really? I wasn't allowed to growing up. Like, do you guys oh, remember okay. even the show like Wizards of Waverly Place? Yes. I had to watch yes. and whatnot. I wasn't allowed to watch that. Really? I, actually really I wasn't allowed that to. Show. Huh. That was good. Interesting. I liked who was in it. Well, so yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, well, we know, we watched we know it so why much. we know why Presley watched it. <laughs> that is correct. Or hey, here's another like female show or whatever. It's like Hannah Montana. Okay, that's that a show, good movie that, or show. <laughs> Which, it was well, not a good movie. It is a movie. It is a yeah, movie. It's it not very good. It's not a great movie. It's all right. Which well, the, Miley lives or has a house near us. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Well, I mean, we're Nashville, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm talking about like ten minutes down the road. Oh really? Yeah. What? Oh yeah. wow! Not that she yeah. lives was... there on a regular basis, yeah. but, well, but no. he owns a house. A house. She's a rock or, throw away. Or I guess it would be her dad. <laughs> yeah. I think it's actually her dad. Oh, Billy Ray Cyrus. Billy Ray. Ray. That makes sense. Also, just a quick weird fun fact is I saw a clip of the Hannah Montana movie the other day, and you know the girl in Stranger Things that's the older sister of uh, yeah, yeah, Finn yeah. Wolfhart. She's yeah. like one of the fans that comes up to oh, Miley Cyrus uh. Uh, or Hannah Montana in that movie. Cool. And oh. I was just like, oh, just I saw the clip and they were like, hey, did anyone know that that girl from Stranger Things got starred in Hannah Montana? Just like, oh, okay. Do y'all like Stranger Things? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, that, that's yeah. a good show. They need to I come out with a new season already. They, they are. They are. Like in the next like it's month or two. It's about time. Yeah. Well, it's is in the next month long. or two or just some point this year? I think it's within the next month or two. I saw okay. a while ago that it was coming out in May, and then it, I think it got pushed back. It keeps getting pushed. It keeps back. getting. Uh, at, right. at this point, the kids are gonna be in like their twenty, in their twenties. They or haven't whatever. come out with a new they season. Are in their twenties. They like, some of them. Two or three years. They haven't come out with a new season since twenty nineteen. Yeah, so it's been three <laughs> it's years. Almost three years. They wow. need to spend all the money and time they can to make this show like. As good as possible. Yeah. I will say, I, appreciate I would it. rather yeah. wait three years if it means that the season's going to be really good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Another show, it finally came back, and I need to watch it. They finally, finally came out with the last season of Better Call Saul. 
Uh, I've been waiting yeah. so long for yeah, that show to come back. It's well, do you know Breaking Bad? Yes. It's not a sequel to Breaking Bad because it focuses on a completely different story, but a character from Breaking Bad. It's his show, and okay. it, uh, it's very, very good. Got you. Noah? Do you? I don't know. I'll go after say, Noah. This is like totally irrelevant, sort of, but I had to put it out there. My favorite show of all time. Ozark. I don't know if you guys have watched oh, it. I've, I've watched a little bit of it. So good. I've, I've heard of it. I have, I have uh. not, but anytime I text my dad, he's like, oh yeah, just watch another episode of Ozark and hmm. whatnot. One of nice. my favorite like sitcoms is getting a reboot, and I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know Which if you guys one? have seen anything. I don't know if you guys have ever seen That 70s Show. Yeah. But oh, They're I've... coming out with a That 90s Show, and they're bringing back all the old characters. No way. Yes. Oh, I'm uh, going to watch that. it's supposed to be Eric and Donna's kid. Oh, that's, that's so like cool. Around and whatnot. Do you... Oh, it's like Ashton Kutcher will be back? Yes. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Do you know a show that y'all need to watch? No. S- S- You're about to know. <laughs> okay. Severance. Oh. No Severance yeah, is an incredible show. So it's on Apple... TV? Pl- yeah, Apple TV. Oh, can't watch it. Uh, well, 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 it's worth it. There's actually two really good shows on there. There's Ted Lasso, which that, is hilarious. That show is that good. That's good. That but show Severance, is so good. Severance is incredible. The story is written unbelievably well. And it, it at first seems pretty weird, but if you just stick with it, oh, man. You get into I cannot wait for the second season to come out. I'm, I'm into it. Hmm. It is such a good story. I it's think, basically... Uh, do you want me to explain it? I have a couple more episodes, but yeah, can you shmev explain so it? So I'm gonna shmev explain this for you. Shmev explain. So this guy, you know what a guy is, right? Yeah. Okay. It's the opposite of a female. Yes. Yeah. yeah. He goes. Well, actually, men and women they go into this place where they work, and the idea is they have a chip that they put in their brain that when they go down this elevator, it shifts them into basically kind of a different person. Kind of in a way because it gets rid of their memory outside of work and puts them into a new headspace. Hmm. And so basically they have memories in work that stand alone and memories outside of work. So they're basically two people, but it's the same person going different places. Yep. That's cool. And it's super classified, super like secret work that they're doing. No one knows what they're actually doing. And so... Yeah, I don't want to give away too much because then I'm getting into the story. But um, basically, yeah, they go to work and they they don't have any memories outside the of it. The main character yeah, it sure is cool. um, it's it's interesting. Ben from Parks and Rec. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. Oh, he's okay. really good in it. Yeah, okay. He's, he's uh, really Adam, good. Adam Scott. Yes, Adam yeah. Scott. Wait, he's really and good. In he's show. in like a serious show. Yeah, it's very. Oh, serious. I've only really seen him so, in comedies. Yeah, it's so. Good. Well, maybe this will be like how Jonah Hill was only in comedies, and then all of a sudden he did Moneyball, and that turned and out great. Yeah. You don't have to have an Apple TV to have Apple TV Plus. It's worth mm-hmm. it just to see Ted Lasso and yeah. Severance. I haven't definitely Severance, recommend. But it's it's a very cool concept. Um, just his character. I'm, I don't know how to say this without giving it away. Basically, people who have been through things that don't want to bring yeah. it into work, they want to separate work and their personal life. Yeah, they go into companies that have the severance well, option. Oh, hmm. yeah. it's not I'll, just this place. I think set the whole severance is like this whole controversy. Yeah, basically, he he does it to get away from all the pain that he's having on the outside world. So he mm-hmm. it basically allows him just to check out for eight hours, and then he comes <laughs> yep. back, and then he's drinking. So my joke was always like, <laughs> if you're drinking outside, and then half the day you can't even remember, you're basically not remembering <laughs> yeah, anything. Yeah. <laughs> but it lends uh, itself to very like just avoidance and bad mental ha- health. Mental yeah. hair. Hair. Mental hair. Mental I was about hair. to say mental Let's care and mental health at the same time. Well, we practice mental, mental hair today because yeah. there's no more bald man. Yeah. So. Thank goodness. Uh, that's right. <laughs> like, listen to this movie explain. Oh, yeah. Back to that. A bullied kid <laughs> with a birth defect proves people are only nice to you when they need something. This could also be Nemo, but... <laughs> no. No. A bullied kid. A bullied kid with a, with a birth, birth defect. defect. Proves people are only nice to you when they need something. Is this another Disney? No. Just tell me. Okay. What? Kid with a birth defect. He's got something wrong with him. Okay. I feel like and that's everyone on your list. People are only nice to this kid 
when he need when they need something out of him. Was this a superhero movie? No. Man, I've, okay, oh, here, here, here. I've this, been on this a hot might, streak for so long, and just, this is the first one I'm blanking on. This might help. The reason they need his help is because his birth defect is very helpful to so, the situation they need help I got, with. Well, I got that. But That's why I asked if it was a superhero movie. That. No. Yeah. It's not a superhero movie? Huh. Mm-mm. So, is he really smart because of his birth defect? No. Is He's he just very helpful. Helpful. Not on purpose. Can you say in what way? Like, what makes him... Why do they need him? That they might need, give it away. They need help seeing. Seeing. Ooh. Like what? supernatural kind of stuff? No. See... <laughs> See dead people. <laughs> um, I have no, oh, man, I my uh, my streak. I was doing so well. I don't know this one. You got some, Chris? No, that's a bit of a stretch. Okay, but, here. Let mm. me let me try to come up with an example. All right. I mean, for some reason, I was thinking of the Sixth Sense, but that's definitely not it. Oh, this I was person thinking of the Giver for some reason. I don't know why. This this person <laughs> is, this person is traveling somewhere. He cannot see, so he uses this kid's birth defect to lead the way and help him see I still don't is this it. a popular movie yes I'm so lost man, I why can't I get this Noah then? do you have any di- Noah doesn't know either man I'm oh, dude. Man, man I was on a I don't know. no I'm yeah, I, I, I just want to hear the answer I, well, I I don't got it can you give us another hint okay <laughs> it has an animal in it animals the main character oh, oh. animal okay that changes things wait 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 no, it's not Life of Come Pi. On. Y'all can do it's this. It's not that. Uh, Wait, so a man and... Oh, it's okay, so, so it's, not, it's so not Disney. The animal has the birth defect. Okay. And he's okay. the one that helps when they need it. When they need it. <sighs> Noah is pa- palms on his face. Did you, <laughs> Did you just know it? it out? You oh, don't? Nothing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, okay, no. so we know that it's not Disney. No. It's not Disney. It's not animated, you said. No, I said it is animated. Oh, sorry, no, it, oh, is, it is. Uh, is. It is animated, okay. Animated, it, it's an older movie. It's an older movie. But it's not Disney. It's not Disney. Wow. I... I have no clue. I I, I don't know. Holi- holidays. Huh? Holiday holidays. movie. Oh, it's oh. a holiday movie. Come on. What the... That should narrow it down. Oh. Quite a bit. I know. Go ahead. Just say is it, yeah. Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer? It is Rudolph the Red Nose wow. Reindeer. <laughs> Bullied kid with a birth defect proves yeah. people are only nice to you when they need something. Because Santa needed him to oh. use his birth defect to, wow. to see. Yeah, to light the way and see. Oh, oh. my gosh. Okay. The way you were phrasing that <laughs> was very misleading yeah. with seeing. Wow. That was very misleading. <laughs> I should have thought no, about the I, birth I defect thing. That I makes sense, it. though. Yeah, no, it makes it, sense. It, no, it makes sense. It does. Just the seeing part. You made it sound like he was blind or something. Yeah, because the way you yes. were talking, you made it sound yeah. like he was physically blind. Wow. Yeah. Well, well okay. Plus, I, I, I understand now. Okay. Red, Which, Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Okay. I cannot believe I got that. Which, that's not one of my favorite Christmas movies, but. <laughs> Same. It's one that yeah. a lot of times I watch every year just because of tradition. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. My Next. dad, I think I've told you before, my dad has to watch like a certain <laughs> amount of Christmas movies every single year. This is one of them. There's a quota? Yeah. yeah there's they're quota like this and like Frosty and like. Christmas, Christmas vacation, vacation Elf, Elf, Home Alone, a bunch of uh, A Wonderful Life. He has to watch oh, them every year. I don't think I've ever seen It's a Wonderful Life. It's long. I don't think like I three and a half either. hours. I'll and it's pass. from like the 1930s. I'm oh, good. no. I'll I've pass. seen it once, and it's good, but I'll, I don't know if I'll ever watch it full again because it's just so long. All uh, right. You want yeah. the next one? Yes. Yeah. An adorable trash can and a flower pot force pat- fat people to walk. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wally. An adorable trash can and a flower pot oh, for fat yes, people to watch. Yes, it is Wally. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. That that's a movie I have wow. not seen in forever. I want to watch that movie. I've only ever seen it once. I loved it the first time I saw it. I think yeah. it's underrated. Can yeah. we talk about another underrated movie? Sh- well, Wait. Poor Wally, but okay. <laughs> no, I'm gonna badly explain it. Okay. 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 I think I already know what you're gonna say. No. Well, I don't. I say this about two movies in particular. Okay. Okay, I think I got it. You, you're gonna <laughs> badly explain it now. I, I want to make sure I'm not giving it away by this description. I'm just coming up with this on the spot. A spoiled animal. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I got it. A spoiled animal 
changes the life of a lowly peasant. Yeah. Emperor's we New Groove. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Which, that, that's one of the best movies. I, I just, love Emperor's New Groove. That's I just watched that movie the other day. I have another one. Okay. Oh. To take your time. <laughs> it's fine. Here, you go ahead and do in, another one in here as well. Insert Jeopardy do, music. Yeah. Do, okay. Can you do another one while I'm thinking of this? Do, okay. okay. It's a good one. I know you've seen thoughts. Do, 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 Presley do, thoughts? Do. No. Well, we didn't talk about Wally much. Welcome to No, Tough we thoughts. didn't. That's why I said poor Wally. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's an underrated film. You know another underrated film. It's like, man, man we gave that two mm-hmm. seconds. It's got a deep meaning to it. It does. Being fat is don't bad. Get no. fat. <laughs> don't get fat. That's don't get fat. Just walk. <laughs> no, don't let the boat. Is it a? It's not a boat. Wait, don't, let the, boat. don't let the ship take control of humans. That's right. Oh, I think it's funny that even in that movie, they tie it into other Pixar movies and show like Easter eggs and stuff. Yeah, oh, they do. That, that movie Pixar is movies. Do that. They do, which is awesome. Which is a reason that people keep coming back, even if the movies suck, because <laughs> they're all connected. <laughs> Every Pixar movie is. Connected in some oh. way. What? Yes, sir. Oh, Press has got it? An alien from another planet turns a new leaf. That could be a bunch of different... Alien. I mean, that could e. be... C. Super- <laughs> I mean, that could be Superman. Venom? Not Superman, not Venom. Not, uh, say it again. That could be again. so many An alien movies. from another planet turns a new leaf. What does this that even a, mean? Is this a tree a movie? <laughs> turns no. a new leaf. Group? Turns his life around. Oh, I don't know, man. But that could be any movie we that were, has like some alien sort of alien, well, and then they come to Earth. That could be so many different movies. Do you know how many movies aliens just come to Earth and just chill? Yeah, a lot. Just say it. What is it? Well, I don't know. Make a mind. Oh, okay. <gasps> oh, that yes, that is so, another underrated movie. So underrated. That movie is completely underrated. It's I so love good. that movie. The character development, the soundtrack. Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell existing. Um, yeah. Big ol' head. That's <laughs> Pey- big Peyton Manning in alien form. <laughs> Ready for this one? <laughs> yes, sir. A bald guy... Zach. ...teams up with another bald guy oh. to fight another bald guy. Ooh. Okay, so what's a movie with a lot of bald people? All right, who are some famous bald people? Yeah. yeah. Start thinking about that, and is, you'll come across who's in it. Is it animated or no? No, it's no, live no. action. There's, there's no way this is animated. There's too much bald to animate. It would break Could the be computer. Caillou? <laughs> no. <laughs> is this a live action movie? Yeah, yeah. A bald man teams up with another bald man to defeat a bald man? Yep. Fast and Furious? Yes. Oh, okay. Good nice. job. I didn't expect well, y'all to get that yeah, that quick. Wait, wait, no, wait, who's which, the other bald? Wait, 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 who's the third bald person? Uh, it's uh, Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel, yeah. The Rock, Jason Statham. Yeah. Oh, I forgot uh, about the Jason guy. Yeah. I knew about Vin Diesel and The Rock, but I yeah. was thinking Fast and Furious, but I was like, no, there's not another bald person. I'm impressed. I just had to think of like all the movies where I know there's just a plethora of bald men. There's not too many. Mm. Yeah. Well, there's more than I was think. also thinking, of, I was going down the Samuel L. Jackson route. Mm. Uh, yeah. Mm. Which, those movies are just getting worse and worse. Dude, they are. They really, uh, and it's sad. The they, first They need to stop. Five. I mean, we saw the ninth. Yeah, I was going to say, Presley, do you want to talk about the ninth movie we saw in theaters? I haven't seen it, I'm probably not going to. Oh, no, you can give spoilers. This movie doesn't matter. <laughs> no, it movie terrible. Tanked. Me, Evan, and Zach, is that it? I forget Layton, if there was, maybe? Layton, were you? No? I didn't watch. I, I guess it was just the three of us. We went to see the ninth one, which just came out, I don't know, a couple months ago. Yeah. We were laughing. <laughs> it was bad. it was bad. It was like it was so, so bad. bad, it was funny. Uh, it was oof, just, just like random celebrity placements to the outer space thing to <laughs> just it was just terrible. Like I said, the first the five writing, Fast and Furious were good. Those After were that, good. it was terrible. What's the most famous one? Um. Uh, what's it called? Either besides the original? Something besides Drift? the first one, Tokyo Drift. Yeah, I was going to say Tokyo Drift, Drift I would say. That's, that's that my favorite solid. one. And people are controversial on Tokyo Drift. It was because and they which one's the main character. Which one's the one where uh, Paul Walker, he... His final one? Yeah, his final one. That, that was, was the, the sixth one. or fifth? It was the fifth one. I, I did, no, that one. No, no, no. It was halfway through the sixth one he passed away. Okay. Yeah. I liked, I actually liked well, that movie. I thought that one was pretty good. Layton <laughs> just had a fat yawn. I, I did. I had to say spoiler. It, is Paul Walker in any other movie? I've only ever heard of him being in Fast he and Furious. There's actually is. a couple that there he's are? in. Um, oh, 
called? It's on Netflix. I can't remember. There's actually a bunch of people in that movie. I believe T.I. is also in it. I know Paul Walker's in it. There's a couple of people in the movie. It's an action movie. Hmm. They're like okay. bank robbers or something like that. He's, like, he's been in several movies. Just Fast and Furious is his most popular. Oh, fair enough. Noah? I was going to say he is in one about um, Hurricane Katrina in New hmm. Orleans. That's right. Yeah. yeah. That was a good one. Yeah. Oh. What's that called? Uh, uh, well, Noah's getting on it. Yeah. I've never heard of that. I haven't either. Um, I've seen it. I just wow. cannot remember the name of it. The, yeah, but Fast and Furious is getting to a point now that not only are they bad, they bad. I think they're just getting like really cringy now. It's just like really Vin cheesy. Vin Diesel is just trying, you know, Family. not go broke. Family. <laughs> Vin Diesel. I, I like Vin Diesel. Just objectively speaking, he has to be one of the worst actors I've ever seen. The <laughs> man agree. cannot act. Agree. He's awful. I mean, I still like Vin Diesel, I yeah. do, but he if you look at it from just an objective acting yeah. standpoint, just yeah. he is so awful at it. Did you guys ever see the um Riddick movies that uh, he was in? No. No. Well, no. Wasn't John Cena in this last movie? He was. That's precisely <laughs> why I hate it. It was why it sucked. They Rock. introduced him as his brother, who was never referenced in the previous movies at all. Ever. He also flipped on a dime, which, yeah. you know, I don't care if that's a spoiler or not, but he just, the, the writing for that was so bad. Now would you pull it up? Yeah, it's called The Hours. The Hours. The Hours. That's right. That's right. Paul Walker. Like, good. is that The Hours before, during, or after, like, Hurricane Probably Katrina? All. Like, yeah, during oh. it. During, during it. He has yeah. to, like, I don't want to spoil it, but he has to, like, keep his kid alive okay. with no power because of the hurricane. It's hmm. yeah. No, that sounds it's like a... a pretty intense movie, like, Yeah, I was going to say, that sounds very intense, like a thriller type sum, but no, it sounds good. All I right. love, like, <sighs> natural disaster movies. I'm addicted to them. You like disasters? I do. Plus Better natural. I, am I just love to see a catastrophe. So the you're a big so you're so a big cool. fan of Sharknado. Yeah, Sharknado. No, <laughs> it is a terrible movie. I love. Uh -huh. I have a shirt that says "I survived Sharknado" on it. Sharknado is, it, it's the, probably the worst movie I've ever seen. But because of that, it's so amazing it's that you can worst, laugh at it. Best movie Sharknado ever. three is the craziest one in my opinion. But anyway, we'll. We can discuss that another just, time. Just I, I love Sharknado. They just sit down and they're like, "All right, all right, what's your what's your movie idea?" Is like, "All right, picture this: a tornado, but a shark." <laughs> I love it. Let's do it. it. Like, how do you get past that? Oh, it, it's, like, it's what are your two worst fears? Uh, being in a tornado, <laughs> but there's sharks around. All right. Bet. We're gonna put the sharks in the tornado. It, it's, the, uh, it's the funny, one of the funniest movies I've ever seen. No the thing point, is hilarious. At no point during writing, production, <laughs> filming, did, did you anyone say anyone question no. anything? Well, did no. anyone's like, you know, is this a good idea? Well, I know the main actor. Uh, I mean, I might be getting some details wrong, but I think like as a broad stroke or whatever, it's correct. The main actor, he read the script and he was like. This is awful. I'm not going to be in this movie. This is a horrible <laughs> movie. But his wife was pregnant at the time, and they needed money. So his so pregnant wife made him do the movie because yeah. she's like, we broke. Goodness we gracious. Broke. We broke. No, do you have something again? Yeah, I was just going to say, y'all think that's the worst movie? You clearly have never seen The Room. The no, room. that is known as the worst movie ever. But John, wait, Johnny Wiseau? Johnny Wiseau, yeah, just uh, I have no idea what that the is. movie. I've never seen it. I've just seen uh, clips about it Th back in the day, like however many years ago, like gosh, like four or five years ago when I still watched PewDiePie. He did a video on it, and that was my introduction <laughs> to it. And my gosh, I was just after I saw that, I'm like, I need to see more clips of this movie, and it's the funniest thing ever because <laughs> the movie is just. So, so awful. I, I love horrible movies. I love movies that are so bad that you can laugh at them. I, I enjoy no. those movies. I hate um, those movies. All right. So, all this right, is yes, the last, next one. last one I have. Oh, last one. Yeah. Ooh. So, a boy who uses a city as a jungle gym fights a green Power Ranger on drugs. <laughs> I know what this is. What the yeah, this one. Wait, this one's wait. very easy. Wait for it's them. It's very to, uh, easy, but it's hilarious. Yeah, let's let, yeah. let them figure it out. Explain that again. A boy who uses a city as a jungle gym <laughs> fights a green Power Ranger on drugs. I get it. <laughs> no, that no, is wait, hilarious. Wait, wait. Let's see if Chris can get yeah. it. No, this dude, is I'm funny. stupid. I have no, no clue. Okay, let's no. give him. You want hints? Yes. Let's give him some hints. Okay. So there's a boy. To be more specific, he's a teenager. Yeah. But in real life, he's not either of those. Yeah. Half, in real life, he's not either. Half bug. <laughs> he's half. Well. Well, what is it called? Is arachnid. it an insect? Yeah. Uh, no. They're it's not an arachnid. It's an arachnid. arachnid. Yeah. You can still say bug. 
Yeah, pretty okay. much. It's a bug. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Spider Man. Yeah, Spider Man won. Yeah. Yes, won uh, because a, a Green Power Ranger on. <laughs> I never <laughs> thought of it like that. Yeah. Like, no, that's that's the next Power Ranger movie coming out. Yeah. They're just all like just Dude, on crack. If just Will, going crazy. If Willem Dafoe was the head of like the next Power Rangers, I'd oh go my see god, it. Oh, yeah. that'd be amazing. Yeah. They'd all be like psycho. Well, I like That'd be that. Great. We should do that again. That was fun. no. That, that was segment good. was a. Ama- I love that segment. That one was really good. There's a lot more. I came up with a few of these, but there is a lot you can find Dude, on we, the internet. N- we have to do this again at some point. Yeah. I loved that. The only one I missed was uh, what was the one that you got, Chris? Fast eventually, and Fa- no, the other one. I knew. Fa- well, Fast and Furious. I didn't get off the top of my head. But there Nemo. Was, Wait, no, you no, got that. Uh, there was just one. That I just completely missed. I think all of us missed it. Rudolph. Rudolph the Red. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's I the only one to where I'm like, one. I do that not. That's the only one that got that. That one. was like one of the that. few I got. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I probably only got like three, yeah. if even. How are we yeah. on time, Noah? Oh, I think we're good. I think we're, we're about an hour. Good. Yeah, it's one hour. Yeah. That's one hour. perfect. That's a bet. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, that's a bet. That's a bet. That is a bet. That is a bet. My G. Let's do our outro sponsored by Chips. My G. Chris. What's good? Thank you for being on today, That's man. Good. Oh, yeah. Yes, thank you, we Chris. Appreciate it. It was, I finally got to be on a podcast with you. It was, it was so I fun. Know. Though I am, I am salty that when you talked about video games, I wasn't here for it, and you guys slandered Nintendo and everything. Yeah, it's because it's not very good. I, no, n- you can say maybe the Nintendo Switch isn't good. Nintendo as a whole, amazing. Yeah, it is. Well, was it slander? Just uh, tough criticism. Yeah, their so, marketing needs help. <laughs> yeah. Was, so they does Xbox help. and PlayStation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we will yeah. we will keep pushing this on to you guys when we hit a thousand subscribers. You get merch, hey. so get us to a thousand subscribers. We're uh, we're we're still working on it, but it's up you know, to you. It's up to you. Ultimately. If you want merch, you'll get us there. Right? Only you can stop yeah. crime. You're gonna so, make <laughs> two hundred <laughs> Gmail accounts. You're gonna make two hundred Gmail accounts, yes, and yes. each one of them is oh, gonna yes, subscribe exactly. to our channel and yeah. get us there. Uh, yeah. But no, have you guys seen those uh, commercials or whatever to where it's something bad? And it's like only you can stop crime. Yeah. And it's just so <laughs> dumb and funny. I, only I, I you love those. Can prevent wildfires. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Only you can prevent wildfires. I think one of them is only you can stop animal abuse or something. And it's like, man, I'm not abusing any animals. Only it's you. like, what I'm the heck? Stop either. tax fraud. <laughs> <laughs> it's like. Well, yeah, but this is our twentieth. <laughs> <laughs> this is our twentieth episode, guys. Yes. So we're twenty episodes in, and here's to twenty plus thousand more, right? That's all. Awesome. Yeah. That's wow. Cool. Okay. If sure, I'm still alive, not. we're gonna be ninety years old. <laughs> welcome, <laughs> welcome back to the awkward tapes. I'm the only one left. I'm the only one alive. <laughs> Everyone else. Is I dead. have Zach's bald ashes on my right here. <laughs> <laughs> he's got his glasses sitting in front oh, of it too. He still, oh, no. he still somehow is like really far back from the mic. Yeah, it's just, it's me, but it has Zach's ashes and glasses. Presley, yeah. part of Presley's hair, a slice of cheese for late <laughs> yeah. Adam's hat. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I mean, as the episode goes on, Zach's ashes get farther from the mic. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's on, like, the world's slowest conveyor belt. <laughs> all right. It's, like, all the way back here. And it yeah. yells! Where you can hear <laughs> all right, but, yeah, thank you guys for tuning back in. Join us, join us on the next podcast. And until next time, thank you for joining us for a session of awkwardness. Awkwardness.